welcome to another series of non-parametric statistical tests in that i'm going to consider man whitney u test here you will understand when to use man whitney u test assumptions of man whitney u test and uh, steps to solve the man whitney u test so before we going to understand what is now man whitney u test let us understand where to use or when to use this u test so which is similar to t test that we solve in the parametric statistical test t test so we have to differentiate between two sample t test and man whitney u test so whenever we are interested in testing the difference between means of two independent population very importantly understand means of two independent population then we use two sample t test but to fulfill to use the t test a set of necessary assumption need to be fulfilled then only we will use two sample t test for means of two independent population along with that it is necessary that two independent samples be drawn from a normal population having equal variance and the data be measured at least of an interval scale so which means uh, to apply t test we need a set of assumption and data must be normally drawn having equal variance and it must be in the interval say, scale in such cases we can go for t test for two independent uh, population but we have seen some other studies like consumer behavior marketing research experiment of psychology etc in such cases generally what we collect data is often on the nar ordinal scale so you must understand that different types of scales measurement scale one is normal nominal scale one more is ordinal scale and one more is interval scale and last one is ratio scale so here to apply to sample to independent t test we at least data must be in the inter interval scale but the some of the in some situation the data we collect which will be in the form of ordinal scale along with that when the population is not known the part when when the particular statistics won't follow a particular distribution so in such cases parametric t test could could not be used for such cases when your data is ordinal and when the population is not known so very importantly in such circumstances very simple non parametric statistics known as man whitney u test may be used may be come in handy so i differentiate between uh, two sample two independent population t test that is two sample t test and man whitney u test in some extent which are both are similar but based on the population whether it is known or unknown the data is ordinal or interval based on that we can go for man whitney u test other are two sample t test now let us understand who proposed this uh, man whitney u test in the name itself we have man whitney so let us understand from founders of man whitney u test so why should we call this man whitney and wilcoxon uh, just because uh, these uh, this statistics u test is developed jointly by man whitney and wilcoxon uh, so in some books uh, you may see m w o w test m w o w test also you can see and i uh, which is oftenly called as u test and in some cases which is called wilcoxon test and in some cases which is called man and whitney test let us understand where to call these type of uh, uh, names uh, wilcoxon considered only the case of equal sample sizes so wilcoxon worked for equal sample sizes of two population whereas man and whitney seems to have been the first to treat the case of unequal sample sizes in such cases man and whitney what is worked from man and whitney we will consider now let us understand what is equal population equal sample size and what is not equal sample size imagine we have two population uh, the man whitney u test applicable for only two population test in such cases one population sample size is uh, uh, something like h and one more population sample size is uh, 10 
Now, this is the case of unequal sample sizes. So, over this issue, Mann and Whitney worked. So, in some cases, which is called Mann and Whitney, K Whitney uh, you test just because for the uh, unequal sample sizes. In some cases, which is called Wilcoxon T, you test because when you are considering equal sample size, you have to go for this Wilcoxon U test. So, therefore, sometimes called Man Whitney U test and sometimes called Wilcoxon rank sum test. I hope you differentiated with the Man Whitney U test and Wilcoxon rank sum test. I have already told you, I have already differentiated with the two sample T test and Man Whitney U test. So sometimes which is viewed as substitute for a non-parametric -param t-test for the difference between two population means. This man whitney u-test is also called as a sub substitute for parametric t-test for the difference between two population means. So I told you for, to apply t-test you need to uh, follow some set of assumption. When assumption of two sample t-test are fulfilled then this test is slighter, uh, slightly weaker than t-test. If the assumption is not going to fulfill, then man whitney u test will be uh, uh, you know, stronger. Otherwise, it will be slighter weaker. So anyhow, for the situation where it is ordinal, sam, uh, where when your data is ordinal and population is not known, in such cases, it uh, the best tool is man whitney u test. So now let us understand some of the assumption of man whitney u test so first assumption is the two samples are randomly and independently drawn very importantly two population uh, the we will apply man whitney u test for two population the both population must be independent both population must not be dependent and independent and those population are randomly drawn from the population those samples are randomly drawn from the population and very importantly variable the, the the type of variable you consider under the study must be continuous along with that at least the measurement scale must be at least ordinal uh, then at least ordinal means you can go for nominal and ordinal but interval and, uh, and the ratio scale won't be considered under this and distribution of two population differs with only respect to location this is very important for example we will consider brand a and brand B. So with respect to location only these type of distribution differs. You can also consider one more example like a traditional method of teaching and modern method of teaching. So here the difference exists in location of the population distribution. So these assumptions are very essential to apply to the Man Whitney U test. And now let us consider what are the steps that we need to follow to solve the U test. Firstly, you need to set null and alternative hypothesis, which is similar to uh, what you formulated in parametric testers also. And that uh, detailed lectures on how to formulate uh, null and alternative hypothesis. I have given a detailed lecture in my uh, in my YouTube channel. You can search for that. After setting null and alternative hypothesis, firstly we combine the observation of two population sample that means we have considered two population two independent population we have to give combined rank for both population which means we are not going to give uh, each population rank in fact we are going to combine both population and uh, both population and give a rank so after uh, giving a combined rank to the both population both sample of population Next step is to rank all these combined observation from smallest to largest from ascending order uh, from ascending in the ascending order you have to follow rank which means smallest observation to largest observation so you can rank. So after that you have to test a statistics. So for testing a statistics we have a different formula over here. To test uh, statistics, we will consider some of the formula. So for formula, you can see here that the formula. The formula is u is equal to s minus n1 in the bracket n1 plus 1 bracket close uh, in the denominator 2 
because we will consider two population if n1 is small we have to consider this formula if n1 is small which means we will consider two population which population sample is small that population we will we, we are going to consider so what is n2 is small the even n2 is small u is equal to s minus n2 within bracket n2 plus 1 uh, divided by 2 if n2 is small that combined observation rank whether n1 is small we will go for first formula and uh, if it is n2 is small we will go for second formula so formula won't differ here n1 and here n2 here also n1 here n2 except that uh, other things are very similar so after testing uh, statistics you know that uh, we have to obtain critical values uh, from the u, u table man, man, man whitney table for the given level of significance so i will show you that uh, table value when i'm going to solve the problem in this video only so after that in the finally we are going to consider that decision so since we are formulated hypothesis we have to consider the decision whether to accept null hypothesis or reject uh, uh, reject that null hypothesis to take decision we will form we will follow based on the uh, that uh, uh, tailored test so i have made a, a separate uh, sl slide for this so here to take decision about null hypothesis we will compare the calculated value of uh, test statistics of u is compared with critical value obtained in the uh, earlier step the critical value will be obtained from table value for the given level of significance so after that we will consider a decision so decision uh, differ in three types one is uh, for two tail test uh, one more is uh, for right tail test and one more is for left tail test so in case when the null hypothesis is equal to mu1 equal to mu2 and uh, alternative hypothesis is mu1 not equal to mu2 then decision will be we will see the two tail test we will see critical values for alpha by 2 at alpha by 2 at uh, level of significance given alpha so if the calculated value of test statistics is lesser than or equal to lower critical lower critical value that is u lesser than or equal to u lower critical a or alpha a by 2 which we, we because which is a two tailored test that is why we will get alpha by 2 or greater than or equal to upper critical value that is u greater than or equal to u that is upper critical value alpha by 2 in such cases we will reject the null hypothesis which means your tested value lies lesser than or equal to your lower critical value or greater than or equal to your upper critical value then we will reject the null hypothesis which is very simple so which means the critical table tested value must lie between this lower critical value and upper critical value then we will accept the null hypothesis that's very simple so however if the critical value your computed u test lies between the critical value that is uh, u lower alpha by 2 u test lower by alpha by 2 lesser than u or u upper value of alpha by 2 lesser than u then we do not reject the null hypothesis this you will understand when we solve the problem very deeply so for the sake of decision you can follow this uh, rule for two tailored test and for one tailored test when null hypothesis is uh, uh, mu1 lesser than or equal to mu2 and mu uh, an alternative hypothesis is mu1 greater than or equal to greater than mu2 in such instance how do we derive decision so if the calculated value of test statistics use u is greater than or equal to that is greater than or equal to the upper critical value that is u since it is in one tile test we are not going to divide alpha by 2 we are directly considering as it is so if your calculated test statistics u is greater than 
the are equal to the upper critical value so we reject null hypothesis in case of quantilate test however if a computed u is lesser than upper critical value of a u then we do not reject the null hypothesis which means if your computed u u value is lesser lesser than the critical value you retain that null hypothesis so one more case in one tailored test is uh, left tailored test when your null hypothesis is mu1 greater than or equal to 2 uh, mu2 and uh, an alternative hypothesis mu1 lesser than or equal to mu2 then which is just opposite to right tailored test in this case uh, if your uh, test, uh, tested u tested value is greater than or equal to u upper critical value we reject null hypothesis in the same manner here for left eyelid test your u critical value is lesser than sorry u tested value is lesser than lower limit or equal to lower critical value we reject null hypothesis which is very simple if your calculated value of test statistics u less than or equal to the lower critical value here lower critical value because left tailed test we reject the null hypothesis if you are uh, however if if the computed u uh, is greater than the critical value of lower uh, we do not reject null hypothesis so which is very simple uh, decision uh, which will be very simplified when we go to take a decision after calculating a problem so thank you so much for watching this video in my next video i am going to solve a problem on man whitney u test for equal sample sizes and unequal sample sizes so this is a book size also for preparing this video thank you so much